Now that we've looked at uh, our break-even chart and calculated a break-even level, number of units that we would break even at, let's consider the possibility that the firm might want to pursue a more conservative approach and use fewer fixed costs, uh, even though it has to incur greater variable costs for the same level of unit production. So our original assumptions here uh, were that the revenue is $2 a unit. We're not going to change that. The variable costs were $0.80 cents per unit, and the fixed costs were $60,000. Instead, we're going to assume that the fixed costs are only $12,000. We're going to replace those fixed costs with variable costs that are a little bit higher. They've gone up from $0.80 cents to $1.60 per unit. So when we replace these assumptions in our more conservative and a more conservative set of assumptions, more conservative operating methodology, we end up creating a new break-even chart. So the break-even chart for this more conservative firm, the level of fixed cost now is only $12,000, so we have much lower fixed cost level. The revenue line that we had up here, that doesn't change at all. There's no different, there was no change in that, still has a slope of two. But our uh, variable costs now rise at $1.60 per unit. So the slope of this line right here becomes uh, $1.60 per unit, 1.6. And the main thing to notice, there are a couple of things to notice. One, our break-even level now has declined from 50,000 units to 30,000 units. We're going to find that number to be 30,000 here in just a moment. Um, with this new, more conservative approach, notice that at high levels of production, when we're out here on the curve at a very high level of production, the amount of profit that we have is much smaller. That The height of that blue triangle at any given point is uh, is less. So the profits for, for the firm at any given level of production above break-even there is, is less. We have thinner profits, thinner profit margins. Likewise, the positive is when we look at the other side of the chart down here, our losses are very small. The most we can possibly lose, even if we don't produce a single unit, is $12,000, whereas previously we could lose 60000 So the size of that little triangle has gotten smaller as well. So by adding, by reducing our fixed costs, reducing our operating leverage, we had a couple of effects. One, we reduced the break-even point. Number two, we reduced how uh, the units sold is translated into profits. We get lower profits per unit sold at high levels of production. We also get lower losses at low levels of production. If we do the break-even analysis, uh, use the formula that we have, divide the fixed cost by the contribution margin, we now have a contribution margin of only 40 cents. We had $2 in revenue per unit, $1.60 in cost per unit. The fixed costs have now declined to $12,000. So $12,000 divided by that contribution margin gives us a break-even level of 30,000 units.